So maybe you could explain a little about how your services are used by uh, large technology companies. Of course, I think that's an interesting analogy. I think I probably sleep better at night than I would if I were an actual arms dealer. <laughs> But, so, you know, the context, if you're thinking about what do we do for the large companies, large tech companies, um, you know, the large tech companies are competing among themselves to build the best performing generative AI models. So you can think of ChatGPT and Claw and Gemini and Llama and, and, and all of these. Um, now, the thing to know about these kinds of generative AI models is they're not coded like traditional applications. If you take a traditional application, um, you know, Microsoft Word, it's probably a hundred million lines of, of, of code that make it capable of doing what it does. If you open the hood to one of these, you know, complex, you know, amazingly performing models, what you'll find is there's hardly any explicit code in that same way. Instead, the functional equivalent to code is data. The models are trained with data. They're pre-trained with data that's collected. And then there's, there's something called supervised fine-tuning data, which includes um, demonstration data, reward modeling data, reinforcement learning data, creating that data explicitly for the training of models is what we do for the large tech companies. And then we also do model safety evaluation. There are a lot of um, concerns that companies have about how the models are performing. Are they performing safely? Are they performing um, in a way that's aligned with the preferences of users? Um, and we help um, conduct those formal benchmarking and evaluations as well.